Today, we have a story of resilience, transformation and opportunity that is set to redefine India's manufacturing landscape. Several international and domestic companies with immense potential have tried to establish their presence in the Indian manufacturing sector, only to face significant challenges. Hyundai India is making headlines with its landmark initial public offering. Hyundai's decision to go public reflects a significant vote of confidence in the Indian market, indicating its long-term commitment and belief in the country's potential. The company aims to raise approximately 15,000 crores, around $2 billion through this offering. Last and the most important area is market expansion. With Hyundai leading the way, we can expect a surge in interest from other multinational corporations looking to establish or expand the manufacturing base in India. Some examples include the likes of Tesla, Welcome back to Engineer, your go-to series for all things engineering and infrastructure. Today, we have a story of resilience, transformation and opportunity that is set to redefine India's manufacturing landscape. Picture this, the Indian market has seen giants rise and fall. Over the years, several international and domestic companies with immense potential have tried to establish their presence in the Indian manufacturing sector, only to face significant challenges. Regulatory hurdles, infrastructure bottlenecks, and fierce competition have often stymied their growth. But today, we stand on the brink of a new dawn. Hyundai India is making headlines with its landmark initial public offering. This isn't just another financial event. It's a turning point and a beacon of hope for the future of manufacturing in India. Hyundai's decision to go public reflects a significant vote of confidence in the Indian market indicating its long-term commitment and belief in the country's potential. Hyundai India's IPO is said to be one of the largest in the country's automotive sector. The company aims to raise approximately 15,000 crores, around $2 billion through this offering. This substantial capital infusion will be directed towards several key areas, starting with expansion of manufacturing facilities. A significant portion of the fund will be used to expand Hyundai's manufacturing capabilities in India. This includes setting up new plants and upgrading existing ones to increase production capacity and efficiency. The second area is research and development. Hyundai plans to invest heavily in R&D to innovate and develop new technologies. This will help the company stay competitive in the fast evolving automotive industry with a focus on electric vehicles and hybrid technologies. The third key area is sustainable practices. A part of the capital will be allocated to adopting sustainable manufacturing practices. This includes implementing eco-friendly technologies and reducing the carbon footprint of their production processes. The last and the most important area is market expansion. Hyundai aims to strengthen its market presence in India and explore new markets. This includes expanding its dealership network and enhancing customer service infrastructure. With Hyundai leading the way, we can expect a surge in interest from other multinational corporations looking to establish or expand their manufacturing base in India. This could lead to increase in foreign direct investment. More companies will be inclined to invest in India's manufacturing sector. Some examples include the likes of Tesla, who is considering India for its next manufacturing hub. Tesla's entry would revolutionize the EV market and create numerous jobs. The second such company is Apple. It wants to expand its manufacturing footprint in India through its suppliers like Foxconn and Vistron. Apple's increased production in India will boost the electronics manufacturing sector. A similar company like Apple is Samsung. Already having a significant presence, Samsung plans to expand its manufacturing capabilities in India, especially in the smartphone and consumer electronics segment. A new upstart who is also looking to expand is Ola Electric. This Indian electric vehicle manufacturer is expanding its production capabilities and developing new models for the Indian EV market. The last company that I wanted to touch upon is MG Motor India. The British automotive market, owned by Chinese SAIC Motor Corporation, is exploring options to raise funds for expanding its operations and developing new EV models for the Indian market. Similar to foreign direct investment, the second area that might get impacted is development of the ancillary industries. Supporting industries such as component manufacturing, logistics, supply chain management will also flourish. Some examples that I wanted to provide is one of Bharat Forge. 
a leading player in the Indian component manufacturing sector, Bharat Forge supplies a wide range of automotive components, including crankshafts, front axle beams, steering knuckles and more to various global manufacturers. They plan to scale up operations to meet the increasing demand. Similar to Bharat Forge is Bosch India. Known for its automotive components, Bosch produces fuel injection systems, braking systems and other critical automotive components. Bosch is expanding its presence in India to support increased manufacturing activities. The third company that I wanted to touch upon is Mothers and Sumi Systems. This Indian multinational is a major supplier of automotive parts like wiring harness, rear view mirrors and plastic components. The company plans to expand its operation in response to growing demand. The last company that I want to touch upon is Continental AG. The German automotive parts manufacturer supplies components such as tires, brake systems and interior electronics. Continental is considering scaling up its operation in India to meet the need of a growing market. Similar to how foreign direct investment and automotive component manufacturing is predicted to increase, one area that is going to expand is the technological advancements. Increased competition and investment will drive technological innovations and improvements in manufacturing processes. Some examples include Industry 4.0 implementation, adoption of smart manufacturing technologies such as IoT, AI and robotics to ensure production efficiency and quality control. The second aspect is electric vehicle technologies. Development and integration of advanced EV technologies including battery management systems and electric drivetrains is going to increase over the next few years. The third technology is additive manufacturing or 3D printing. Use of 3D printing for prototyping and production of complex components reduces time and cost and you will see more of that happening in India. The fourth practice is sustainable manufacturing practices. Implementation of eco-friendly technologies and processes to reduce the environmental impact of manufacturing is going to scale up. The last but the most important technology that I wanted to speak about is advanced automation. Use of advanced robotics and automation systems to streamline manufacturing process and improve productivity is needed for a country like India. The expansion of Hyundai and other manufacturing companies in India will generate numerous job opportunities for engineers. Let's see how. For example, in manufacturing and production, engineers will be needed to design, develop and oversee the manufacturing processes of new facilities. The second field is research and development. There will be a greater demand for engineers to work on developing new technologies and improving the existing ones. The third aspect is quality assurance and control. Ensuring that manufacturing processes made in India meet high global standards will require skilled engineers and therefore there are certain skills engineers should build. To capitalize on these opportunities, engineers should focus on developing the following skills. The first one is advanced manufacturing techniques. Knowledge of modern manufacturing methods such as additive printing and automation is very crucial. The second one is Industry 4.0. Understanding the integration of IoT, which is Internet of Things, AI and data analytics in manufacturing is going to be extremely crucial. The third one is sustainable practices. Familiarity with sustainable manufacturing practices to meet the growing demand for environmental friendly production is also going to be very important. The fourth thing is project management. Strong project management skills to handle large scale manufacturing projects is going to be very critical. Some of the technical software proficiency will also go a long way. Understanding design softwares like CATIA, CRYO, NXCAD, SOLIDWORKS and much more with the engineering fundamental will be very useful. Similarly, computational fluid dynamics or computer aided engineering FEA tools will also be very useful. In conclusion, Hyundai India's IPO is more than a financial event. It is a catalyst for growth in India's manufacturing sector. For mechanical engineers, this translates to a wealth of new job opportunities and the need to develop cutting edge skills. If you are liking the episodes that we put up, stay tuned to Engineer to get more insights into how you can prepare for and thrive in this evolving landscape of engineering. Thank you for watching. If you found this episode helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Let's engineer the future together.